Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome to another match tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing division of polynomials using the long division method. Let's have first the division algorithm for polynomials. If p of x, the dividend, and d of x, the divisor, are polynomials, and d of x, the divisor, is not equal to zero, then there exists unique polynomials q of x, the quotient, and r of x, the remainder, such that p of x divided by d of x is equal to q of x plus r of x over d of x or p of x is equal to q of x times d of x plus r of x where r of x is either zero or of degree less than that of d of x so we have the steps in dividing polynomials using long division first one is to arrange the terms in both the divisor and the dividend in descending order the next one is to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor to get the first term of the quotient. And then the third step is to multiply the divisor by the first term of the quotient and subtract the product from the dividend. The fourth step is to use the remainder, repeat the process, thus finding the second term of the quotient. And then the last one is to continue the process until the remainder is of a lower degree than the divisor. So let's have our first example. Divide x to the third power plus 11x squared minus 4x minus 9 divided by x minus 2. So the first step is to write the equation in long division form. So we have x minus 2, the divisor, divided by x to the third power plus 11x squared minus 4x minus 9, which is the dividend. And then after that, you will divide the first term of the dividend to the first term of the divisor. So we have x cubed divided by x will be x to the second power. And then after that, you will multiply x squared to the first term of the divisor. So we have x squared times x. The answer is x to the third power. And then again, multiply x squared to the second term of the divisor. So we have x squared times negative 2 will be equal to negative 2x squared. Then we will subtract. So x to the third power minus x to the third power will be equal to 0 or it will be cancelled out. And then after that, negative times negative will be uh, positive so this will become positive so 11 x squared plus 2 x squared will be equal to 13 x squared and then after that you will bring down negative for x and then after that you will repeat the process you will divide 13 x squared to the first term of the divisor so we have 13x squared divided by x will be equal to positive 13x. And then you will multiply 13x times x, which is equal to 13x squared. And then again, you will multiply 13x to the second term of the divisor, which is negative 2. So 13x times negative 2 will be equal to negative 26x. And then you will subtract. So this one will be negative. So 13x squared minus 13x squared will be zero or canceled out. Negative times negative will be positive. So this will be positive 26x. So negative 4x plus 26x will be equal to positive 22x. And then after that, you will bring down negative 9. And then you will divide 22x to the first term of our divisor. So that is x. So 22x divided by x will be equal to 22. And then you will multiply 22 times the first term of the divisor, which is x. So 22 times x will be equal to 22x. And then 22 times negative 2 
will be equal to negative 44. And then you will subtract. So 22x minus 22x. So this will be negative 22x. So 22x minus 22x will be equal to 0 or cancelled out. And then this will be positive. Negative times negative is positive. And then negative 9 plus 44 will be equal to positive 35. So this will be the remainder. So the quotient is x squared plus 13x plus 22, remainder 35 over x minus 2. Therefore, if we will write it in division algorithm form, so we will write first the dividend, which is x cubed plus 11x squared minus 4x minus 9, equals the value of our quotient, which is equal to x squared plus 13x plus 22, times the quantity of our divisor, which is x minus 2, plus the value of the remainder, which is equal to 35. So let's have our second example. Divide x to the fourth power plus 3x cubed minus 3x plus 2 divided by x plus 2. So we have the divisor, which is x plus 2, divided by the dividend, which is x to the fourth power, plus 3x to the third power, minus 0x squared. So we will write 0x squared in this position, because as you can see on our dividend, the second degree of polynomial is missing. So we have fourth degree, third degree, second degree is missing. So therefore, we will write 0x squared here between the third power and the first power. The next step is to divide the first term of the dividend to the first term of the divisor. So we have x to the fourth power divided by x is equal to x to the third power. And then after that, you will multiply x cubed times the first term of our divisor, which is equal to x. So x cubed times x will be equal to x to the fourth power. And then you will multiply x cubed to the second term of our divisor. So we have x cubed times 2 will be equal to 2x cubed. And then you will subtract. And then negative times positive x to the fourth power will be equal to negative. So x to the fourth power minus x to the fourth power will be equal to 0 or cancelled out. And then this one, negative times positive will be negative. So 3x to the third power minus 2x to the third power will be equal to x to the third power. And then after that, you will bring down 0x squared. So it can be negative or positive. So any sign will do. And then after that, repeat the step or process. You will divide x to the third power divided by the first term of our divisor. So we have x cubed divided by x will be equal to x squared. And then again, you will multiply x squared to the first term of our divisor. So we have x squared times x will be equal to x to the third power. And then x squared times the second term of the divisor, which is equal to 2. So 2 times x squared will be equal to 2x squared. And then you will subtract x to the third power minus x cubed will be equal to 0 or cancelled out. So, and then after that, negative times positive will be equal to negative. And then 0x squared minus 2x squared will be equal to negative 2x squared. Repeat the step. You will bring down negative 3x. And then after that, you will divide negative 2x squared to the first term of the divisor, which is equal to x. So negative 2x squared divided by x will be equal to negative 2x. And then you will multiply negative 2x times the first term of the divisor, which is equal to x. So negative 2x times x will be equal to negative 2x squared. And then after that, again, you will multiply negative 2x to the second term of the divisor, which is equal to 2. So negative 2x times 2 will be equal to negative 4x. And then you will subtract. Negative times negative will be equal to positive 2x squared. So negative 2x squared plus 2x squared will be equal to 0. And then after that, negative times negative will be equal to positive 4x. So negative 3x plus 4x will be equal to x. And then bring down 2. 
so we have x plus 2 and then after that you will divide x to the first term of the divisor so x divided by x will be equal to 1 and then you will multiply 1 to the first term of the divisor so 1 times x will be equal to x then multiply 1 to the second term of the divisor so 1 times 2 will be equal to 2 so we have x plus 2 so we will subtract so x minus x will be equal to 0 and then negative times positive 2 will be equal to negative 2 so 2 minus 2 will be equal to 0 so the quotient is x to the third power plus x squared minus 2x plus 1 and then if we will write it in division algorithm form so we have x to the fourth power plus 3x cubed minus 3x plus 2 the dividend equals x to the third power plus x squared minus 2x plus 1 which is the quotient and then times the quantity of x plus 2 which is the divisor so let's have our last example divide 30x to the fifth power minus 50x to the fourth power minus 21x squared plus 32x minus 8 divided by 3x minus 5. So the first step is to write it in long division form. So we have 3x minus 5 which is the divisor divided by 30x to the fifth power minus 50x to the fourth power minus 0x cubed because we are missing the third degree of polynomial in between the fourth degree and the second degree. So we will write 0x cubed and then after that we have negative 21x squared plus 32x minus 8 so the next step is to divide 30x to the fifth power to the first term of our divisor which is equal to 3x so 30x to the fifth power divided by 3x will be equal to 10x to the fourth power and then after that you will multiply 10x to the fourth power times the first term of our divisor so we have 10x to the fourth power times 3x will be equal to 30x to the fifth power and then you will multiply the second term of the divisor which is negative 5 times 10x to the fourth power so will be equal to negative 50x to the fourth power then we will subtract so negative times positive 30x to the fifth power will be equal to negative 30x to the fifth power so 30x to the fifth power minus 30x to the fifth power will be equal to 0. And then negative times negative 50x to the fourth power will be equal to positive. So negative 50x to the fourth power plus 50x to the fourth power will be also equal to 0. And then after that, you will bring down negative 0x to the third power. And then you will divide 0x to the fourth power divided by the first term of our divisor, which is 3x. So 0x to the 4th power divided by 3x will be equal to 0. So x to the 4th power divided by x will be x to the 3rd power. So we will subtract the exponent. So 4 minus 1 will be equal to 3. So x to the 3rd power. And then 0 divided by 3 will be equal to 0. So that is 0x to the 3rd power. And then after that, you will multiply 0x to the 3rd power times 3x so 0x to the third power times 3x will be equal to 0x to the fourth power add the exponent and then 0x to the third power times negative 5 will be equal to 0x to the third power then we will subtract so we have 0x to the fourth power minus 0x to the fourth power will be equal to 0 and then negative 0x to the third power minus 0x to the third power will be also equal to 0x to the third power. And then after that, you will bring down negative 21x squared. So you will repeat the process. 0x to the third power divided by 3x will be equal to 0x to the second power. So x cubed divided by x will be equal to x squared. 0 divided by 3 will be also equal to 0. And then after that, you will multiply 0x to the second power times the first term of the divisor, which is equal to 3x. So 0x squared times 3x will be equal to 0x to the third power. 0x squared times negative 5 will be equal to negative 0x to the second power. Then we will subtract negative times positive will be equal to negative. So 0 minus 0x to the third power will be equal to 0. 
and the negative times negative will be equal to positive 0 x squared. So negative 21 x squared plus 0 x squared will be equal to 21 x squared. And then bring down 32x. So we have negative 21x squared plus 32x. So next step is to divide negative 21x squared to 3x. So negative 21x squared divided by 3x will be equal to negative 7x. And then after that, you will multiply negative 7x to the first term of our divisor, which is equal to 3x. So negative 7x times 3x will be equal to negative 21x squared. And then after that, negative 7x times negative 5 will be equal to positive 35x. And then subtract. Negative times negative will be positive. So 21x squared plus 21x squared will be equal to 0. And then negative times positive 35x will be equal to negative 35x. So 32x minus 35x will be equal to negative 3x. And then after that, bring down negative 8. And then after that, you will divide negative 3x by the first term of the divisor, which is 3x. So negative 3x divided by 3x will be equal to negative 1. The negative 1 times the first term of the divisor, which is 3x, will be equal to negative 3x. And then after that, negative 1 times negative 5 will be equal to positive 5. So subtract. So negative times negative 3x will be positive 3x. So negative 3x plus 3x will be equal to 0. And the negative times positive 5 will be equal to negative 5. So negative 8 plus negative 5 will be equal to negative 13. So the remainder will be equal to negative 13. So the quotient is 10x to the fourth power minus 7x minus 1, remainder negative 13. So if we will write it in division algorithm form, so we have 30x to the fifth power minus 50x to the fourth power plus 21x squared plus 32x minus 8, which is the dividend equals quantity 10x to the fourth power minus 7x minus 1, which is the quotient times the quantity of 3x minus 5, which is the divisor minus 13.